friends, welcome to class today. Today, our student teacher, Ms. Sagan, is going to be reading to you. Make sure you listen carefully, and I can't wait to hear if you like this book or not. Have a good time, learn a lot. Hi, friends. All right, so today we're gonna to be reading The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Feister. This is a great story about sharing and acknowledging our gifts and knowing what we bring to the class and knowing what we can share with our friends in our classroom and our teachers. Let's start. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. There he is, there's rainbow fish. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. There he is, swimming away from the other fish. They look pretty disappointed. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They're so wonderful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? Cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. He doesn't seem to want to share his scales. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset he told all of his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now, he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out all of his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. There's Rainbow Fish. There's the octopus coming out of his cave. I wonder what the octopus is gonna tell Rainbow Fish. Let's see. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea but you will discover how to be happy. Let's see how he does that. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales. Never, how could I ever be happy without them? Here he is thinking about what he should do next. Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmering scale, he thought. Well, maybe I won't miss just one. Carefully. The rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. There he is, and there's the little fish. And there he is with the scale, handing it over. Thank you, thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with this new scale glittering in the water. How do you think that made 
the rainbow fish feel? Pretty good. I think he has a big smile on his face. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, just like the octopus told him. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had all been given away. Yet, he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. That's it, and there he is. On the last page with just one scale left, can you see it shining? I love this book so much because it reminds us that every single one of us has something awesome and special that we bring to the classroom that we can share with our friends. Whether it's um, a gift of kindness, we're really, really good at sharing something, or we just have beautiful stories to share with our friends and our classmates. All of these things are very, very important for, um, and things that we can all bring. And when we share them with others, it brings us happiness and it brings our friends happiness. And it makes really enjoyed this book. I hope you guys did too. I'll see you guys in class tomorrow.